Welcome back to 3D Printing News, a place where we talk all things 3D. Our first story, Prusa has announced a sequel to its flagship series, the MK4. Now the MK3 was one of the best printers on the market since its debut, and the 4? It's supposed to be even better. Some of the features include faster print speeds, automatic bed leveling, and swappable hot ends to let you use different nozzles quickly. You can order the fully assembled printer now, or wait a few weeks to get the kit. I'll uh, talk to the boss man and see if we can get one of these printers in here now. Please? Please? Our next story. We warned you. We told you. It's coming. And it's still coming? Creality has announced their new flagship series, the K1, an AI-powered FDM printer. We don't have all the details yet, but with all the promotion they're doing, one thing's for certain. Speed is back, and we're gonna know more April 9th. Big Tree Tech has announced the Sonic Pad, an open source control tablet for 3D printers. The catch? It comes with Clipper pre-installed. The Pad 7 has Clipper, but it also comes with an ADXL345 module to enable input sharing. The goal of this is to increase print speed, acceleration, and reduce ringing. Now let's talk about every nerd's favorite part of new tech. What's the port situation? We got USB-A, we got USB-C, we got TF card compatibility, we got Ethernet, we got a CAN bus, and SPI interface. Not bad. No official release date, but with all the chatter, we expect it sooner rather than later. Our next story, Arduino has announced the sequel to the Uno R3 microcontroller. And guess what they're calling it? The Uno R4 microcontroller. Obviously, the R4 will have the same form factor shield compatibility and 5V operating voltage as others in the series, but under the hood. That's where it gets interesting. We got an RAM4132 bit Cortex M4 processor that runs at 48 megahertz. What does that mean? It can run three times as fast, duh. Our last story for the day, who doesn't love talking food? Mechanical engineers from Columbia University have unveiled a 3D printed cheesecake. Why? Why would they do this? Well, the team believes that 3D printed food will promote safer eating conditions, allow for more customization, and will get people to choose nutritional content. It's pretty cool. If only they could 3D print my happiness. That's all we have for today. Back to you, Bob.